This is an Island Spirit 410, 41 feet long catamaran. Yeah, I believe this is a 2019 model. I've sailed on its sister ship over in Koh Chang before. Uh, they're made here in Thailand by Group Island Spirit. Go to the website, it's popping up right there. If you'd like more information, they are for sale here in Thailand. Uh, pretty cool, they have a different concept than a lot of boats team. They have an open uh, cockpit area, so it's all the way, it's open all the way to the galley. There's some pluses and minuses to that. We'll talk about it as we go through it, but uh, let me give you a tour of the boat. Welcome to another edition of Boat Tour Tuesday, which actually never comes out on a Tuesday. This is the video series where we interview the various cruisers we come across in our travels and then give you a tour of their boat. This is a 2019 Island Spirit 410. It's 41 feet long with four cabins and two heads. It has a unique open cockpit and open salon design and we were fortunate enough to sail it around the Thai Islands for a week. So here is our tour of the Island Spirit 410. I will show you the outside. Geraldine will show you the cockpit and the galley, and then we'll take you inside uh, and show the cabins and Taz will give you a tour of that. So let's go upstairs. Yep. Okay, this is the bow area. It's pretty standard for a catamaran. You got your two trampolines on each side. Uh, your head sail, this is just a jib going back. Uh, no, it is a, I believe it is a Genoa, honestly. Uh, Genoa headed back and a roller furling here with the line running back to the helm station. Uh, works pretty well, it's pretty standard for a catamaran. Um, it's pretty nice to hang out up here. One of the cool things is you can anchor, you can access your anchor right here. Right here is access for you to attach your uh, bridle. So you don't actually have to climb under and do all that. You can attach your bridle right here and then put the chain out. So it's nice. Uh, and then of course, just a little bit further aft, you have your windlass right here and controls and your anchor locker under there. Storage on either side right here. It's pretty, uh, um, uh, lots of storage up here. Uh, and I know I'm leaving these hatches open right now. They're toe stubbers, but I'm about to take the camera and film in there. So I'll put it back in a minute. <laughs> you do have speakers outside on each side, which is really nice. And then you have your four peaks, which also have more storage. I guess technically, I don't know if there's enough room in here to be converted to a, no, I mean, I wouldn't want to sleep in there, but it's a little four peak for storage. At the mast here, I mean, you very rarely have to come up, maybe just to help pull on the halyard to raise the sail but it's single line reefing, so you really don't have to come up here except maybe put the sail in the sail bag, which we actually need to do, forgot about that. Uh, and then your yeah. jib sheets running aft. All your lines run aft. All of your reefing lines and sheets and all that run back to the helms, and they actually crisscross, so your starboard sheet runs to the port side helm, and then your uh, port sheet uh, runs to the starboard side helm, and you get your main sheet, which will go to either side, and that's just so that when you're tacking and all that, you can have one person uh, handling the helm, and they can do one line if they need to, and on the other side, you got your person uh, handling the sheets on the other side, so it gives you a little more space for maneuvering instead of being right there, everybody at the helm. Which is a downside too, because it's hard to uh, single hand it, because if you're tacking, you need to move the jib sheet over, and uh, you know it can be a little hard. You can backwind it for a while, so you can run around and do it, but that's just the downside, but then the positive side is you get more space. Um, also up here, uh, you have the bow seats, they're kind of fun to hang out. And uh, we put it up several times. We had this little shade structure that goes over this whole area and we should have kept it up today because uh, it was hot. So let's move aft a little bit. All right, your helm station here, you have a little bit of a shade there. Uh, I'd kind of, I don't know, it's nice that you can see what the sails are doing through there, but I'd like to have something where you could get the sun off you a little bit more in there, but it's okay, it does pretty well. Uh, seating here for two. The helm station itself, the steering is hydraulic, which is both good and bad. It is good because uh, when you got the autopilot on, the helm isn't sitting there turning the whole time. It's just staying steady and it gives you a little more power with the steering. The downside is you don't feel it. Like there's no real feedback through a cable and pulley. So pluses and minuses. You have your uh, controls here. You have your autopilot. You have a multifunction display. And then you have your uh, chart plotter. Those are all B and G. I think that's their standard equipment. And over on the other side over here, you have uh, your engine instruments and your radio and then your light controls as well as your fuel gauges. Uh, your throttles and everything are right here. Uh, pretty simple to get at. Your All your lines run right here. So you have your main halyard, you have your topping lift, main sheet, your port side jib sheet. So you got to keep that in mind because your starboard one runs here just to the turning block and goes back. And then you can adjust your traveler over here. And as well as your jib furler is on this side over here. Uh, Overall, uh, it's a pretty comfortable home station and no problems at all. 
All right, on the aft in the boat here, you have your transoms. Uh, what I do like about it, I mean, it's good and bad. You can see they put these uh, stainless steel little guards here. That's because the the, de the little swim deck here is so close to the water that when you come up in your dinghy, people will hit it with the dinghy, so it kind of protects it there. But it's also very nice because it's very low for getting in and out of the water. You don't even need a, a ladder to get up and down, and it's easy to step in and out of the dinghy, so a definite positive side for that. Uh, and it is a nice big platform back here. Some, some cats have a very short step. This one you can hang out, sit here, drag your feet in the water as you're going. Um, and then, you know, pretty standard back here. Uh, your engines live on each side. They have a sail drive. They're 30 horsepower Yanmars. Personally, I think I would go with 40 horses because uh, you can only go about six knots at 2200 RPM on this boat. I'd like to be able to get to about seven knots. Uh, just me personally on a, on a boat. Uh, <laughs> Shore power connection, and then over here, your davits. Uh, I'm not sure what they're rated to, but I mean, this is a pretty nice size high field um, with a eight horsepower on it. I'm not sure how big it is. It's probably an 11 foot dinghy or 10 foot dinghy, so it's a nice big size one and uh, comfortable for rolling around here. Uh, we'll get to the open concept here in a minute, but these will, these little covers will roll down to give you shade or for inclement weather, or if it's a little cool out, you can close this up, keeps it a little bit warmer on the inside. On the other side over here we have our propane uh, grill, does pretty well, and our boarding ladder on the other on this side as well. And of course a little, little shower here for cooling off after getting, rinsing off after you get the salt. And I'll let Geraldine show you the galley. Uh, well now I'm going to introduce you a little bit of the cockpit area and the saloon and the galley. Um, well in here you can see this is a pretty much open concept of the um, so the living room is pretty much different but in here you can just uh, look down these doors, the rooms, the cabinets and the heads that are down there uh, but this area remains pretty much open all the time uh, so yeah here you have like tables which is where we were having our breakfast every morning we we're just hanging out around this here uh, you have some drawers uh, just there under the cushions here just to put the stuff. Um, then you have in here all the um, control station. You have all the navigation lights, copy lights, freezer, everything that just works like um, electronically with the boat. In here you have also some panels that access to the electrical part of the boat. You have in there a lot of wires. In here you have pretty much the battery, um, the inverter, the battery controls and yeah you can show the ground and here we have a little island i don't know what is this called uh, in the kitchen this is a uh, pretty convenience if you have some ice in here you can just place some beers stuff that you have in here in this part the freezers one works as a fridge and the other one is colder so it's more like for colder stuff and freezers ice maybe then you have a lot of drawers, um, they are pretty organized, it's pretty cool in here. You have a lot of things, a lot of the stuff you need. Then you have also the uh, propane uh, stove in here, which is very convenient as well and it works pretty good. Uh, speakers in there, you have hatches here, hatches just up here as well. Which uh, is the tap for the, for the dishes. And yes, yeah, in here they just gave us some stuff uh, that we may need during the trip, binoculars, we have, even have a signal home, we didn't use it and stuff. <laughs> and then yeah, just books, some stuff in here, and drawers just all around, so it's a pretty space uh, uh, friendly galley. Cool. And yeah, that's it. Okay, Taz, you ready to show us the uh, the cabins? Yes. Hi, right. everyone. Uh, welcome. So we're going to head down to the cabins down here. Normally, on some boats, you have to duck your head, but as you can see, there's a lot of space, and I am a tall girl. So we have two cabins on either side and one bathroom right here. Um, this side is going to be a little bit bigger, and but it's going to have a little bit less airflow. There's storage here under the bed, and there's a hanging locker here for your clothes. Very spacious. So here we have the forward cabin, which is way cooler at night and really nice. Here you have another little hanging closet on the side and storage again below. There's also a little cabinet right here where you can kind of put your speakers or whatever you feel necessary. And there's hatches here and here that you can open up. I highly recommend it. 
just to keep it nice and breezy. There's one head right here and there's another on the other side. Personally, I think it's better that there's only one on either side instead of normally having two because you can have one that's a lot more spacious and it's just overall more comfortable. And that's below deck. <laughs> That uh, is the Island Sphere 410. Sorry, this is Teresa. We didn't have anything for you to film, but no hey, enjoyed having you on the boat this week. But uh, so definitely a different concept than some of the other catamarans out there. It's good or bad, depending on what you like. Probably more of a boat for the tropics than colder weather. But this nice, spacious, open uh, layout is pretty nice for uh, you know chartering and crewing and stuff like that. Do you like the Do you like the design and space? Yes, of it? yes, yes, of course I do. I mean, I would prefer actually this kind of concept rather than the, the lagoon. Yeah, yeah, the lagoon. And you well, you have. I mean, a lagoon. Uh, the lagoon, lagoon is, is is perfect if you have AC. Yeah. The lagoon is perfect, yeah. but without the AC, this well, one is much better. We do get a little bit more airflow in here because it has these hatches above and there, and we got a fan, so it's not I mean, too bad. If we wanted, we could even remove the. Yeah, if you remove those. More area, so. And it's easy access from beers to bathrooms <laughs> yeah. to kitchen. There you go. All of them. All right, so Island Spirit, uh, it was a fun time on this boat. And uh, go to their website if you want to check out more.